At American Ear Hearing, your hearing tests are always free because we never want you to miss what matters most in your life. Visit AmericanEar.com to schedule your free hearing test. Investigates for the past two years, we've been policing the village of Bryce's controversial police department. Tonight, we've uncovered new startling information. The law firm wrote the letter and advised you not to write Correct. tickets as civil citations, but you continue to do so. This Why? Is, this is between my lawyer and me. Two years ago, its own legal counsel, as you just heard, urged the village of Bryce to stop doing something they continue to do write traffic tickets. Investigator Tom Susie, who's been all over this story since the beginning, joins us now with the latest. Tom? Yolanda, it's all spelled out in this letter given exclusively to ABC6 investigators. Big question tonight, why is the village of Bryce ignoring its lawyer's advice? Well, it went straight to the source, Mayor Amy Evans. But why would the village of Bryce go against the advice of its lawyer? We chose to do it at that time. Why though? Is it the right thing to do? I, I don't know right or wrong. Village of Rice Mayor Amy Evans doesn't know right or wrong. The village's lawyers have an opinion. It's all spelled out in this letter to the mayor. They write, the village of Rice does not have the authority to create a system for enforcement of traffic or criminal laws and impose liability on violators. To better understand the significance of this letter, here's what you need to know. March 2013, a state law goes into effect banning mayor's court for towns with less than 201 residents. The village of Bryce is well below that mark. July 2013, the village of Bryce goes rogue. Cops here start writing traffic tickets as civil citations. Fines range from $75 to $750. In just six months, they write nearly 1,100 tickets, half of them for violating the village's 25 mile an hour speed limit. For its efforts, the village collects $95,000 in fines. December 2013, the village's legal counsel writes this letter to Mayor Amy Evans. They say the court case the village uses to justify writing traffic tickets as civil citations does not apply. Oh, something else telling about this letter. We understand the village has stopped writing the civil violations and it should continue to do so to avoid any potential liability exposure or other legal implications. The village never stopped writing traffic tickets as civil citations. No, but I just want to know what your legal precedence is for writing traffic tickets as civil citations. That is what we decided to do at that time. Even though their own lawyers advised them not to. I don't for the life of me understand why you would go against the advice of your attorney. Again, that is between my attorney and myself. Is the village of Bryce above the law? No, sir. Are you above the law? No, sir. Tonight, the village's lawyers declined to talk to me about the letter. They say it violates attorney-client privilege. One more note. Last month, I told you how the village passed an ordinance to install speed cameras. Well, Mayor Evans says that's still the plan. The village's police department has one employee, the police chief. Now, if you have a tip for me and the ABC6 investigators, drop us an email at tips at abc 6 sidecom or leave us a message at 614 255 News. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Tom Susie, ABC6 Investigators. I look forward to more updates on that. Thank you again, Tom. Bullistock.com has everything you need. Designer clothes, brand names you know for underneath the tree. Many gifts to choose, like watches, toys, and shoes. Diamond rings and lots.